Hey everyone, and welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. This is part eight. Now, um, as I have done before, I'm recording this kind of in a block, so if you've said anything in the comments previously, I can't answer right away because I won't have seen them. I have to sneeze, hang on. Nope, that ended up being a hiccup. Why did it feel like a sneeze? Who knows? Um, so, yeah. This area is, like I said, it's sort of an in-between-ish area. Um, oh, and by the way, I mentioned it at the end of this uh, last episode, but it's, uh, I'll mention it at the beginning of this one. If you haven't gone to check out the first game from this series being played by Sims 3 Copper Fox, I highly recommend it. You definitely should. Um, now, we only get to choose one of these, and we may die from this. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We're gonna get treats. These treats are what make the world go round. Oops, missed that one. Oh. Okay, we can't lock onto that thing. Yep. It burrowed. Eat that. Whoop. Boom. It's coming back. Okay, it went further down. Is there anything we can hit? I'm probably gonna miss some stuff. We can get back through later. Um... But I am very likely going to miss some stuff. So we'll have to come back through another time. Hi! Yeah, pay attention to that. Isn't that cool? Blow that guy up. This is gonna take me a little bit of extra special focus. I should kill the insidious ruin as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's get rid of those. No, back off. Cut your face. There we go. Alright. It's very difficult for me to uh, LP this. <laughs> And, uh, keep focus. It's, it's, uh, these are not easy fights. There's one, um, one set of fights later that I can guarantee I'm gonna be very quiet during. <laughs> and may even, if I don't really talk much at all, I might even cut some out. Wow. Again, not going very well. Back off. Back off. Ooh. I'm trapping myself in corners here. Okay. I know how to play Dark Souls. I know what I'm doing here. What am I what's going on here? Bait the attack. Avoid it. Fire. There we go. Seriously, it's almost as though I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sure if one of you, at least one of you could argue that I don't. Um, but yeah. I'm just playing irresponsibly. Give me that, thank you. Um any treats? Any treats? No treats? Look at this. This is nasty. Is that an owl? Oh, that's sad. I love owls. I do hear a pig. Oh, I know where it is. And I don't have a way in there yet. You need the hobby horse. Oh, you can get in there. Okay. I thought you needed the hobby horse, definitely, but apparently not. So let's just go on. Left trigger. Let's look. Yes, I see that. Now there is a way just to run around. Which, when I first played, I did not notice. Because I'm just that good. Yes, I see. Yes, I see. Let's get rid of this. And that's going to make a treat up there for us that... I'm actually gonna have to go get um, because we need those teeth and the healing stuff because I'm playing so so poorly so I'm thinking I'll try to alternate it um, tr try not to make every episode 
a discussion about mental health, um, but, you know, many episodes. So we'll see if we can balance it out, because not everyone uh, is going to want that all the time. There we go. Obviously. And we want to accommodate as much as possible. Wow, there was like... Did I already get the thing that was in there? Because if so, that is balls. Okay. So here we are. And that's telling us that the way to Mock Turtle is this way. What's down there? There's nothing. Oh, it's a slide. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the hobby horse. Excellent. There's my hobby horse. With your crazy eyes. Come here. I don't even actually use the hobby horse that much. Destroy all obstacles with unbridled power. Stampede through the opposition. A smashing hit. <laughs> the hobby horse smashes through weak surfaces with ease. It can also break through enemy defenses, which is, um, it can be very useful. Because we need them. We need it to fight these. The ice snarks. And without their, like, ability to just hide really easily, these are not bad. There should be another one. Yeah. Pay attention to this. Isn't that thing cool? As soon as they know that you're attacking them, they'll tend to hide. Then you just gotta go up. Give them a whack. Hi. There we go. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to these things. Ooh. Tremendous amount of lag. Which is not present in the uh, the PS3 version. Oh, back off. Back off. Sorry about this lag. going to keep doing this. Pay attention to this thing. Look at that. Wait, we need it closer. Look at this thing. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you hate that thing, don't you? You must. Because you keep going after it. Even when you shouldn't. Oh, it blew up and killed him. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, now they're being really generous with all of these save points. Remember to spend teeth on your weapons. Yes, I know. So we have 309. We just spent a bunch. Um, so actually I want to take this opportunity for those of you who want to ask me any questions about my experience having worked in... Um, so in the comments, ask me about my experiences having worked in... Um, like, Because I used to work with abused and abandoned children. That was what I did before I worked on YouTube. I was actually a vocalist, and I did that part-time. Um, and I acted sometimes and all that, but my main job, my passion, was working with abused, abandoned, and mentally ill children. So, um, yeah. If you, wanna, if you have any questions about that, or how I got into that, or just my experiences in general, as I said, I wholeheartedly encourage you to ask because I would love to share. Um, I feel as though I should be able to make that jump. Yep. Oh, no. I keep doing that, though, where I always go too far. Um, and then it startles the crap out of me, even though there are literally very few ramifications to actually falling. Um, whoop. Whoop. All right. Doop. Oh, no. This is going really well. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it from this one. Yes. It's almost as though that's what they intended me to do to begin with. So we've got our hobby horse now. We don't actually need to use it because we have our little um, thing, but we can. It looked like there was an enemy in there. Perfect. I don't feel like killing it. I don't feel like letting it take away my health. So we heard a piggy. But it is not over here. So let's just go. 
Yeah, watch. It'll be ages before we get, um... Before we get another save point. Come on, up. We are very close to a snout. I just don't know exactly where it is. I think... It's in here. Yeah, health. I'll take it. Oh, there's a rat. I like mice. Yes. There's one in here. There's something so eerie about these caverns. I'm from upstate New York and there are actually a lot of, um, of caverns around here. And um, I've been to a bunch of them when I was younger and they are just indescribably creepy. If you've ever seen the descent, obviously there weren't, I never encountered any, you know, terrifying things that go bump in the night. However, there, there's just this... It's just, there's something so sad and empty about them. Like, that's all I would really say. I guess they just depress me more than anything. Okay, so we got our stuff. Let's go here. Look at that. That moon is frozen. I know I'm just totally pointing out the obvious, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just glad that I can finally record. I have uh, I have not been able to in a while. And it bums me out. So there's a way to do this. If you have... Um, we could just lame this out. Like you shoot them and then they'll hide. Like they can't... They can't seem to figure out that they should go under. No, he figured it out. There we go. Um... But if we kill these two, it's gonna going to avoid there being a lot of issues in a couple minutes. So yeah, I can wait. I can wait. It's cool by me. Because as you can see, there's one over there. I don't like being mobbed by these things. Eh. Because yeah, the biggest issue being these. Wow, getting a lot of lag during these fights. Hmm, maybe leveling up the Vorpal Blade wouldn't be such a bad plan. See, and that one is already dead. Yep, this lag. I am so sorry, everyone. There's no reason it should be doing this. Get him out of here. Enough of this garbage. Thank you. I don't think my computer's doing anything. I think it's just a very laggy section. There are a lot of textures going on here. Um, what was I saying? Now, there is a secret place that we can go. Let's do... The only other annoying thing is if you don't know where the secrets are, you really have to spend a lot of time in, um, in Violet's, uh, yeah, um, shrinking, shrunk state, shrunken state. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. You have to spend a lot of time in this mode. Now, there is a DLC costume which makes it so that you can always see the secrets. That's what I was probably going to use, but I don't have access to that through the PC version. Which really sucks, because um, I am not prideful. I want to do this as quickly and as entertainingly as possible. And uh, if that means using something that's going to tell me where all the secrets are so I don't have to consistently remember, because I don't have, I have a terrible memory, you all know that. Absolutely terrible memory. Mm. All right. Now, uh, Nurse Witless is the one who doesn't like um, Alice's old nanny Press because Alice's nanny Press 
is now a sex worker, and Nurse Whitless views that as being inferior to herself. Um, so there's definitely a significance to that, because she's she's basically saying that, that uh, oh no, crap, I should have gone the other way. Crap, crap, crap. Nope. Okay, well, we'll have to redo this area later. I mean, I didn't miss out on anything really huge, but I'm gonna guess at least. Probably a memory or something. Or a radular room. Might have been a radular room. Yep, see? There's one. Go away. Um, but yeah, so it's like kind of interesting to me because the nurse is is basically saying that, that or uh, excuse me, Pris is saying that Nurse Whitless would also do anything for what what she wants and I think that there's a lot of uh, a big part of this game is involves hypocrisy and characters that don't really practice what they preach and they spend a lot of time judging and just being awful so we're gonna shoot this In fact, Alice frequently points out issues of hypocrisy. She encounters it quite a bit in her daily life, it, it seems, and it must be frustrating for her on a number of levels because she's the one who is consistently being made to question her own motives, her own sanity, and now she's got this, this therapist that she's with who is trying to restructure everything about uh, the way she views the world and who is sort of encouraging her to change her, her inner reality. And it's got to be rough. Uh, we're getting to one of my least favorite parts of the game. There actually, there are some levels, like this game actually has levels that I do enjoy. But have you ever played a game where, okay, for example, I love Kingdom Hearts, so I don't want you to think I don't. But I remember playing Kingdom Hearts and um, often thinking, oh, I should go back and play that level I loved, and then realizing that there really aren't that many that I love. That I often get kind of frustrated with levels from the game. Yep, slowly now, slowly, 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 please. Oop. There we go. And we want to avoid taking damage from those, ideally. I don't want to take any additional damage. We'll go to the right, I guess. Boop -a -doop -doop -doo. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know where it's leading us, but we'll see. Oh, down here. It's leading us down here. Every level has a slide. But yes, anyway, like when I play Kingdom Hearts, I enjoy the experience, but oftentimes I look back and I'm like, ah, there was this part of that level that I really hated, and there was this part of that level that I really hated again, and this other level. And I think that's, uh, there's a, that happens a lot with games, and there aren't a lot of levels. I mean, there are certain parts of this game that I'm just like, oh god, but for the most part, I really genuinely enjoy myself. Okay, so we're coming up on time. This is going to be a slightly shorter episode again, but it's going to, I want to make sure that I end these when I get, um, when I get save points. So, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all. And like I said, if you want to ask me questions about how I, um, how it was working in the mental health field, particularly dealing with children. Um, I have a very strong affinity with children. As I mentioned, um, I experienced a lot of abuse as a child, and I feel as though that gave me a very specific perspective when it came to dealing with abused children. I found that a lot of my, uh, my, my coworkers often wanted to make uh, make a lot of the pain and things like that about themselves. Like, like you can't cry when a child is upset or suffering or anything like that. You can't, you, you can't get upset. You have to just empathize. You cannot get upset because getting upset makes it about, about you. 
And I mean you collectively. I mean, like, I, that was a philosophy that I had to take on myself. And I learned that because of all the therapy I had as a child when I had therapists that would get frustrated with me and make it about themselves. So next time, again, I'll probably reveal a little bit more of my experience with therapists and things like that. If you have any specific questions, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to try to upload these as much as possible. But again, with the discussion, that makes it difficult. Sometimes I might have to take little breaks in between. I don't know. But thank you so much. Please remember to give this video a like and leave a comment. It's helpful. It lets me know what you think and it lets YouTube know that you're watching and that you want YouTube to tell more people about me. So thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye!